So I'm making this video as it's fresh off the needing views press and as if people weren't hating on Epic Games enough for the recent patch update and how broken the game is, this whole fake controversy really didn't help their case at all. This mainly came to my attention when someone retweeted a Facebook post detailing an artist that said their art was pretty much copied, made into a character, and sold into the item shop on Fortnite. Now the skin in question was the Taro skin released back in November of 2018 and has an alternate version of Nara. I'm not gonna lie, it's definitely one of the better skins that I've had the displeasure of seeing Fortnite put up. The tweet gained massive amounts of attention and received over 21,000 likes and sparked up a real hate bandwagon towards the developers of Fortnite. Now when this first came up no one really questioned it and immediately were prepared to jump on the hate bandwagon without giving it a second thought. The artist in question that made the post originally claimed that they had posted the art around a year ago prior to the skin being made and that they didn't find out about it until recently because they'd never played Fortnite. To start with, there were some to jump in and defend Epic Games, but at the time, they were severely outweighed by the mob mentality. They made quite a few different points, including that the design team could have been inspired by the art, or someone could have just submitted it to them as a suggestion for a skin, and they just blindly accepted it. These were just two of the many different suggestions. Some could also look at some of the other skins they put up in the shop, and could easily say that they've taken inspiration from other games, films, and other media, so it wouldn't really seem that unlikely, but you'd be wrong. Within 24 hours, Epic Games was on the case and took this very seriously and investigated it further, and it all turned out to be completely false. For some reason or another, the original site where it was posted DeviantArt allows an original post image to be completely changed without it stating both that the image has been edited and when that image was updated. Only after people started going through the Google cache was this found out and the original post defending them was quickly taken down. Really, anyone just looking at it casually without further going into it would understandably have the opinion that Epic Games had copied the character, and while it was good to see people go up in arms in defense of a small artist, it should definitely be noted not to always believe everything you see online, and to do a little bit of your own digging before just accepting it. To wrap all this up and hit that last nail in the coffin, the artist removed all the posts and deleted their accounts. So that alone should really indicate how much credibility the original post ever actually had. I would say don't go out and hate on the person, but I'm not sure you could even if you tried. One thing I would say is that I would like to see Epic Games use this as a way for more community interaction and have artists submit art that they would like to see in the game. And it could be a win-win situation with them being able to include a lot of really creative characters and the artist receiving a reward like payment, credit, or even both. And it would honestly just show how creative the whole community can be and I'm sure you would see so much more unique content. That's all I've got to touch on with this topic, I hope you all enjoyed and I'll be leaving all the necessary links to the information down below if you're interested. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.